And on hashtag not a review, the segment where I take a product and give you guys a hands-on spotlight, we're taking a closer look at the thing that's fighting to be my new squirrel stopper, the Condor SS from Air Force Air Guns. It's an integrally suppressed air rifle. I didn't even know something like this existed prior to getting this one. Besides being three gun red and looking like something out of fifth element, it's ultra lightweight weighing in at just over six pounds and with the stock slash air tank in the rear, the balance is similar to that of a bullpup rifle. When you have it cranked up all the way via the adjustment dial, this 22 cal version will sling pellets down range at about 1100 feet per second. I prefer to keep it a little slower than that so that I can one, make the air in the tank last a little bit longer, and two, so I'm not breaking the sound barrier with supersonic projectiles. Now, here's the best part, and I talked about this in the segment on the 50 cal air rifle that I covered earlier this year, is that these things are completely unregulated. That means that you could have it sent to your house with no ATF or government paperwork at all. And because I know you're going to ask, I put it up next to my Savage Mark II with a Silencer Co. Sparrow, and without using a decibel meter, I would say that things are pretty close. Obviously, the power settings on the air gun and the type of ammo used in the 22 will affect this, but the main difference here is the tone of the air rifle is a little bit higher pitched than the 22 long rifle. It reminds me a lot of the sound you get when you disconnect an air hose from your compressor. It's not loud, but it's distinctly an air right. release. I really had a lot of fun using this thing, and I actually got a squirrel with it just the other day. And because this is not a review, you can learn more about this thing by clicking the link down in the description or heading over to airgundepot.com.